Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to recognize that this November, we are marking the very first official Albanian Heritage Month in Ontario. A year and a half ago, I was honored to first bring forward a private member's bill proclaiming November as Albanian Heritage Month in Ontario, and I am very grateful to my friend, colleague, and parliamentary assistant, the MPP for Etobicoke North, Dr. Shafiq Kadri, for taking the lead on the bill when I was no longer, no longer able to carry it through the legislative process because of my subsequent appointment to Cabinet. As members may recall, Bill 36, Albanian Heritage Month Act, sponsored by the member for Etobicoke North, was introduced on October 5, 2016. It received unanimous support in the House for its second reading on October 6, 2016, and final and third reading on December 5, 2016. The bill received royal assent on December 8. Uh, of the same year. I would be remiss if I failed to give special thanks to the strong local Albanian community that worked tirelessly to make this bill a reality. Specifically, members of the Albanian Canadian Community Association, including Dr. Ruki Kondai, the honorary president of the association, as well as the current president, Ramazan Kelezi. Dr. Kondai, a dedicated, passionate, and valuable member of the Albanian-Canadian community, has been instrumental in spearheading the community's efforts of having the bill passed into law. This act allows us to recognize and celebrate the accomplishments and the contributions of the Albanian-Canadian community to Ontario. November is a significant month in their culture and history for a number of reasons, Mr. Speaker. A revolt against the Ottoman Empire, which had occupied this region for more than five centuries, led to a declaration of independence on November 28, 1912. On this day, the Albanian community also celebrates Albanian Flag Day, a unifying symbol of the Albanian nation. 32 years later, in 1944, Albania was liberated from Nazi occupation, and Liberation Day has been celebrated in the country on November 29th ever since. Each year, the Albanian-Canadian community in Ontario celebrates these occasions by raising the Albanian flag here at Queen's Park, as well as organizing cultural and social festive events throughout the province. The community uses these occasions to also celebrate some of the well-known Albanians worldwide. The list is long, but it includes Mother Teresa, who has been proclaimed a Roman Catholic saint. Mother Teresa was born in Macedonia to Kosovo Albanian parents. At the age of 18, she left Macedonia to join the Sisters of Loreto in Ireland to learn English. She made the eventual journey to India, where she devoted her lifelong career to the care of the poor, the ill, and the disadvantaged. In 1979, Mother Teresa was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize for her humanitarian work. Today, she is considered an Albanian heroine and a unifying symbol of Albanian multi-faith identity. Another hero, um, Albanian hero, is Gergi Kastrioti Skanderberg, the national hero who unified the nation in the 15th century in its resistance against the early days of the Ottoman Empire. Other well-known Albanians include names such as Jim and John Belushi, American Albanian Hollywood <laughs> actors and comedians, Rita Ora and Dua Lipa, internationally known singers, Tai Domi, retired Canadian NHL I see, uh, ice hockey player, and last but not least, Inva Mula, a world-famous soprano who performed at the Albanian Heritage Month reception here at Queen's Park last night, where I had the honor to join many members of the community to jointly celebrate this important month. Albanian Canadians have been a part of Ontario life for more than a century. Their community is represented from different parts of Southeast Europe, where Albanians have inhabited for centuries, namely Albania proper, Kosovo, Macedonia, Montenegro, Serbia, and Greece. Italy, the country of my birth, has had an Albanian historical minority of a quarter of a million scattered mostly across southern Italy. The historical Albanian community in Italy, who settled between the 15th and the 16th centuries, are known as Arbaresh. <laughs> The Arbaresh have preserved their authentic language, religion, traditions, customs, and art. I have had the opportunity to meet 
a number of arbaresh over the past several years. Here in Canada, according to the latest statistics, there are just over 36,000 Canadians who claimed Albanian origins. The first wave of immigration arrived in the early 20th century due to internal uprisings that occurred in the Balkan region due to the collapse of the Ottoman Empire. The second wave of Albanians arrived from the former Yugoslavia during the Cold War and settled in Toronto and Montreal. However, the biggest wave occurred as a result of the collapse of the communist regime in 1992 in the 1990s ethnic conflict in the former Yugoslavia. The Government of Canada established a residency program to accept 7,000 Kosovo-Albanian refugees fleeing the Kosovo conflict in 1998-1999. Today, the majority of Albanian Canadians reside in large municipalities, including the Greater Toronto Area, Hamilton, Kitchener, London, Ottawa, Peterborough, and Windsor. All in all, the Albanian community is integrated successfully and is a part of the diversity in which we all take pride. Members of the community can count on several cultural and community associations for support and networking opportunities. Just last month, I had the pleasure of attending a gala fundraiser in support of Albanian House, a new project which, when completed, will be a terrific resource for all members of the community. I've also had the pleasure of attending and was honored with an award from the Albanian Canadian Excellence, or ACE Society, a group whose mission is to promote excellence and recognize it within Albanian professional community and to create and sustain the culture for its achievement. Speaker, when I look at Ontario's Albanian community, I see why and how our province has been built on immigration. I see people who have come here and have settled into communities where their neighbors have shared experiences and perhaps similar backgrounds. But I also see people who embrace the chance to get to know and work and live among people with completely different experiences and who come from entirely different backgrounds. I am personally aware of what our province can offer immigrants who come here looking for a better life. And I'm also acutely aware of what newcomers can offer us in the way of culture, industry, community, and citizenship in the very best sense of the word. Our province honors history and celebrates diversity. Albanian Canadians are a valued part of that. I am therefore very pleased to acknowledge Albanian Heritage Month here in the province of Ontario. Thank you.